Hey, welcome back. We have a knife here. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get into it. I'll be using the Demco 8020.5 in the Grivery and OS 10 for the unboxing. It is my dedicated unboxing knife. It does a great job of it. All right, tearing into this very well packaged where this guy basically laminated the entire knife box in tape. No knives are going to be shaken or flung from this knife box without extreme intent by USPS employees or someone else that gets their hands on it. <laughs> For sure. All right, I like when I see that box. The Oz Roosevelt box. Fantastic. Always one that makes me happy. And there's actually a little something else in here. I gotta take a look at what that is. That could have been easily thrown away based on that packaging. Um, Cool. So this is, uh, oh, I know exactly what that is. That's the uh, show scale that this came with. So this is an Oz Rosie. Uh, I got it because of the number. I won't uh, specify what it is, but it has something to do with my son. And uh, let's take a look, see what we got. Number 819 here, made in mid-2022. Man, that's a crazy scale on that one. I had seen it. I didn't spend like a ton of time trying to understand what exactly I was looking at because I was really just going for the number on this one more than anything else. Um, this is, by the way, the one where they started just coincidentally. Um, this is more of a personal number for me, but it is coincidentally the one where they started making their hardware in-house, uh, which is really cool. Um, so that's kind of a historic uh, Oz knife here. Um, and yeah, I'll probably take this one apart and get it cleaned up and get it all back to really nice and clean. But generally, whew, beautiful action. I traded off a really nice Roosevelt for this too. I traded off my radial, so I got to go find another radial now to uh, keep my collection complete. But nice centering, cool little black backspacer. I don't know if that was, is that original? It doesn't say here. Smooth scales all tie. I'll have to go look at the uh, Instagram. I think it is original. But you'd think if you did that here, you might do it here or something, but this all does match, so I don't know. Whew, really nice action, though, on that. That feels great, so that's great. We got some stuff here, a whole bunch of hardware. So I think it has, I think this has gifts. Oh, no. Did he tell me it has the uh, salt and pepper bearings in it or something? It has some sort of nicer bearing. I think it might be the salt and pepper bearings based on the way it feels. I don't think it's skiffs. Then the original Deldrins are here. Deldrins? Dendrins? Deldrins? I think they're called Deldrins. Maybe this is the original hardware? I don't know. I gotta go ask him. I forget what I got here. Oh, so yeah, this is... This does have a silver backspacer. Huh. And this has been open. So I think he bought a DLC hardware kit and then just the backspacer. That would make more sense. That's the original, I think, <clears throat> that I could throw in there which I will do, because as you probably know, if you watch the channel, I put everything back to original pretty much. Very rarely um, do I go in the direction of modifying. When I do, I go crazy. Did this one, uh, <laughs> won't go into that too much today, but um, yeah, this is uh, uh, gonna be fun. I'll get this back on the correct backspacer. And then what this came with, which is really cool, um, but I don't think it has a place for me right now. So I might sell this or, yeah, um, let me figure it out. I'm not gonna put myself on the spot here, but I gotta figure out something with this. Is it came with, uh, from the Midas Touch, I always forget this guy's name. It's kind of, uh, it's Kenison or Kenyon? Kenyon, I think is his name. Uh, it only says his last name there, but it says K. Um, this guy does amazing work. Uh, I think he's only done two CF scales, two carbon fiber scales, but that is a really cool uh, sort of a fat carbon scale for it. This guy normally does Timascus, but that is uh, pretty darn neat there to give you a sense of what that would look like. So I guess that's what's going on here is there's the black DLC hardware was to probably go all black murdered out with this or something like that. Black, black, black hardware. That's, I think, what was uh, the plan here. And then he switched it back or whatever. I don't know what's going on. 
Um, he said he switched this back pretty quickly. So maybe it was the prior owner that wanted this or whatever, but this goes here, I guess, as part of this. But then I don't know what this is. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. Oh, maybe this is a, uh, this probably is um, hardware that came with that scale because maybe it needs a washer on the inside. It probably needs a washer. Yeah, 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 of course. You don't want to run your bearings on carbon fiber. So this washer goes in there. So there's a little hardware kit that goes with it. Um, so that's really cool. Really neat. But I don't know. I might sell that off. I don't know that I have really a use case for that, to be honest, right now. Um, but then let's throw this back in here. And right now you're going, what is this guy doing? What's up with all the bags in and out, in and out? All the bags, all the bags. I really like, by the way, these uh, PJ Rosies. Um, for some reason, they just seem to have slightly better action than the other ones. I don't know if it's just smoother or what. I guess it doesn't really make sense if it's on bearings, but I don't know. They just seem to have killer freaking action. Blade on this one looks brilliant. Edge seems generally very, very sharp, if not maybe a touch of wear at the very end here. Maybe it has a little bit of use on it, but very minimal if so. I don't see any evidence as such on the blade. It just looks immaculate. Um, a couple very small, very, very small and light um, that he disclosed, by the way, uh, lines across here where it got a little scratch. So that's unfortunate, but they're very light. It's very even hard to show it. <clears throat> So that is a beauty. That's a really nice one. I love this polished finish too. This is not just a PJ. This is like a pretty special polished finish on this one that uh, you don't see this on a lot of his knives. This is not your typical stone washed uh, finish at all. So I'd like to get this open, get it super duper duper clean. You can see a couple little lines here and here. And yeah, um, figure out uh, what I do with all this stuff. I assume I'm gonna swap that back and whatnot. So there you go. Another little beauty for the collection. Thanks for stopping by for this one. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.